Hello and welcome back to another episode brought to you by Barso, showing you exactly how to make some of the best cocktails around live here on the internet. Welcome back. What have we learned so far? Of course, so far we've shown you how to make a mojito, a margarita, a Long Island iced tea. We've got many more to come, but today something a little bit more different using champagne. Today it is about the champagne cocktails. You can need very little. We don't need any of these things anymore. No Bostons, no shakers. We're gonna build it in the glass and make it as simple as possible for you to get maximum exposure for design. It's gonna look beautiful. If you have any problems at all, check out the recipes down on my left hand side there. You can do it in your own time, but you're only gonna need a few things. First of all, your glass. Here we've got a champagne flute, very stylish in design. That's gonna go very nicely for our champagne cocktail. We are also gonna use a bar spoon. We'll show you how this can be used uh, a little bit later on. Very, very easy. We use it for a lot of our other cocktails, but uh, we're going to be using it a little bit different today. Don't forget any of these tools you'll be able to look up on the internet. Go to your local uh, department store. They're very easy to look up. Put it in your search engine and uh, you'll be able to find somewhere online to buy all these little bits and bobs. They are your bartender's best friend. So you have your glass, you have your spoon, and just two ingredients for this cocktail. Obviously, it is a champagne cocktail. So we're gonna be using champagne. Head down to the supermarket, get yourself a nice bottle of bubbly, and don't forget to keep it in a cool place, back at home, nice and chilled to get the best drink. We're also gonna be using some peach puree, and uh, you can make that at home, or indeed you can go down to the supermarket and buy it in puree form, it's up to you. Very simple, peach champagne, it's called a Bellini, and this is how to make it. Once you have your champagne glass in front of you, we're gonna build it in the glass very, very easily. You already have your peach puree, so we're gonna pour that into the glass like that, maybe about a third to a half full, simple as that. Now, some people might prefer a little bit more alcohol in their drink, or a little bit of a different taste. It is a peach drink, so we have a few different peach liqueurs. This is a schnapps, everybody knows archers. If you want to use archers, just a little dash in there as well, will do the trick. Lots of other peach liqueurs around, you can experiment, but again, a little dash to go in with a puree will do the job. You have your peach puree in the glass. All we need to do now is top up with champagne. Now this cocktail is perfect for doing at home. All those parties, weddings, birthdays, little soirees, this is gonna be the perfect drink to entertain your guests with. Not only does it taste beautiful, but it looks good as well. How do we make it look good? Very simple, by using this piece of equipment here. Quite simply, we're gonna place it in the glass and we're gonna pour down the spoon. Now you can see the spoon is ridged down the side as a spiral. We're gonna pour the champagne down the spiral like so. Very slowly. There you go. Just going down the spoon there. Let it just drip out. Try not to disturb the peach too much, purely for presentation. You can mix it in afterwards, but we're running it down there, and as we're pouring down the spoon, we're pulling the spoon up as we get further up the glass. Looking good already. You can see how the peach is staying at the bottom of the glass there. Very nicely presented indeed. It's as simple as that, folks. There is your drink, but obviously, for a beautiful drink, maybe for the perfect, beautiful guest, you need to make it look beautiful as well. So, one cocktail stick. Select a nice plump raspberry there. Raspberry, a lovely little garnish for the Bellini. Simply rest that on top there. And a nice little trick as well to impress your guests at home. Maybe take a little straw. If you have some lemonade, some soda water. Just give it a little squirt. Nice and cool, few little bubbles, and simply rest that on the side of the glass, like so. So when you present it to your guests, you've got a nicely looking drink, with a nice little twist on the end with your straw. And there it is. There's your Bellini, and it's sure to impress back at home. Have fun, have a go yourself, and of course, come and check it out in bar. So if you've had a go back at home and you've struggled and you want to see the experts do it, come down, check out the guys and girls, and they are going to make you the cocktail of your dreams on a Friday, Saturday night. It's there for you to take away. Come and enjoy the fun. And of course, if you haven't been down or if you are a fan already, head onto the internet right now, have a click, 
and uh, check us out on Facebook. We've got our own Facebook site, and all you've got to do is click the button to become a fan. As soon as you're a fan, we're going to let you know all of what's been happening, pictures, posters, links, videos, the lot, and of course, future events as well. It's all there on Barso Facebook. Become a fan and find out all about it. Don't forget, folks, as always, drink responsibly, and always remember, tip your bar.